guys, how's it going? Hey, real quick, before we start the video, um, I just wanted to talk about how I want to raffle off this chainsaw, this Pioneer RA. It's been sort of confusing um, trying to figure it out, but you know, when we first started this, we were gonna do maybe like an online auction. And uh, you know, in hindsight, maybe we could have done that. But anyways, we, we've already started with the uh, raffle type deal. and. So what we were gonna do is just have people donate $20 or more to um, John's GoFundMe page, which I'll put that on here. But um, it's hard to figure out like who donated for the raffle and cause I was gonna have them put like a little note on there that it's for the chainsaw raffle, but you can't put really, you can't really put notes or anything on there. So that's sort of hard to determine. And then I thought, well, maybe we'll just do like a specific amount like $19.99, but you can't do cents. So maybe we'll just do a straight $19. Um, we'll get you into the raffle and then put your name, you know, of course you're gonna put your name there. I mean, you can do it anonymously, but then we won't know who donated. So if you can put your name there, $19, and then we'll know that it's for the chainsaw raffle. And then what I wanted to do was get a whole list of people that donated. And then uh, we'll do, I want to try and do like a live stream like Saturday, like maybe like 10 o'clock in the morning. Try and do a live stream. We'll sort of do a bunch of funky stuff and just talk about stuff and go through the list and, uh, you know, get this list compiled of people that donated. And then maybe we'll get that all sorted out, you know, a day or two after that. And then we'll do a raffle type thing, maybe another live stream, I don't know. I don't even know how to live stream. I gotta figure that out. So I might be doing a test one <laughs> later this week. So anyways, oh boy, technology. But anyways, so yeah, John's wife is uh, recovering at home. They've had to go back to the hospital a couple times, but she seems to be on the road to recovery. So that's good. They have a huge hospital bill. So anyways, We'll do this live stream raffle and see how it goes. And then, uh, you know, if we could send some love and uh, prayers out to Andrew at Butler Outdoors, Canada, you know, he could use he could use some love and affection right now. So we love you, Andrew. Okay, here it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Kane Custom Garage. And tonight we're gonna work on the uh, ignition system on this Pioneer RA chainsaw. See, I got everything all cleaned up and ready to go. So we'll take a look at these points and see if they need cleaned up and then we'll put them on and gap them and put the flywheel and the uh, spark plug wire and the boot and all that on there. I'll show you how the little ends go on these things. And then we'll see if this thing's got spark. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay, so yeah, we're ready to put the ignition in this thing. I'm excited. See, I cleaned up this screen, got it all painted, the flywheel's all cleaned. And here's all our ignition components. So, the first thing I gotta do is fish this wire in here. Cause it goes, it goes in this hole and then back out this hole and then up to the spark plug. So I gotta get that in there. Yeah, I was also, I was also looking at my video to make sure I fixed that glitch. Cause I don't know if you guys noticed before, but like when I had it stationary filming stuff like this, it would sort of jump around. It'd be all chink, 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 chink. And it was driving me crazy and I figured out, I finally figured out it was the uh, auto stabilization on the, on the uh, camera. And so it stabilizes things like when you're walking around filming stuff, but when you're not walking around, it sort of glitches out. So I figured it out because yeah, that was driving me crazy. Okay, so first thing we got to do is screw this end of this wire back into the coil. And I showed you, remember I showed you that before, how this, there's a little threaded spike in here. And you just basically twist the wire on and it pokes into the center conductor on the wire. So let's try that. Let's get it in there. 
There, I finally got it in the hole. So now you just twist the wire around. You just screw it in there, basically. And then just keep going until you sort of feel like it's bottomed out. Because, I mean, it's not going to tighten down tight. It's not like it's a freaking bolt or something. Still turning fairly easy. Okay, I think it's in there now. Yeah, see, it doesn't pull out. Okay, so that's in there. So now, oh yeah, now we need to check the points. So these are sort of nice. You just open this bad boy up like that with that clip. And see, it even has a little, it even has its own little built-in points gauge. See, you can use this for a point scapper. Come on, come on. Come on, focus up. There, see? Set points to 020, and you can use that little um, tang to set your points. Isn't that cool? So, we'll just take a look at these points and make sure they're clean. Just get a little tiny piece of 600 grit or something and stick it in there and then close them and then move her back and forth a few times because I've had I've had a few of these old chainsaws where they just don't have any spark and the only reason is because there is some white corrosion on the points so that ought to take care of her okay so I won't agonize you or bore you with trying to fiddle this wire all the way through here and stuff. So let me get that all in there and then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, I finally got that wire snaked in there. See, see I, I sort of screwed myself again. I, I, put that, um, I put that carburetor on and everything got in a big hurry and it would have been a lot easier to put that spark plug wire in without the carburetor on. So there I go again, getting ahead of myself. But anyways, we got it in there. So see now, we can place the points in. And we just gotta make sure that the spark plug wire is in the proper position back there. Which I think it is. So now we can put the screws in for the points. The points box. So yeah, we'll get those in there and then we'll set the gap. And these ones, this side you can actually, um, you can actually change the timing on it, see? But I can see where the old screw marks were thank god because yeah i'm not even sure how you time these things i haven't even messed with that but we'll get her back to where she was and then she should be good so yeah let me get those screws in there okay i finally got that screwed down so now we'll take our fancy little gauge and see what we got for a uh, points gap It's actually pretty darn good. I got it on the high part of the lobe, see? Let me make sure the points are tight. But yeah, it's pretty much dead nuts on. Make sure all the screws are tight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. So, I think we're good on the points. Perfect. So we'll put this little guy on. How's this go? Just like that. And then the cover goes like this. And then the little clippy goes on the little nubbin. There we go. Points are ready. 
So now we got to put an end on this um, spark plug wire. And so the way these work, where is that thing? So see this little thing? Oh! See this guy? See how it's got that hook on it with a, with a barb, with a point on it? You just stick that in the wire, basically, and then this goes on the spark plug end. Eh, yeah, maybe, maybe actually it'll be easier to do it like this. So see, you're just taking... Where's my pliers? So you just take and pierce the wire. You gotta make sure it's right in the middle. I think I didn't get quite in the middle. Dead center. <clears throat> there we go. You need to squeeze that bad boy in there. Like that, see? And then, if you take a little dish soap, we should be able to just shove that whole thing right in there. Dish soap works good for getting the boots and wires and stuff like that slid through stuff. So let's see if we can stick this in there. Come on, baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Just keep pushing it in. It'll go, it'll go. Push. Push, there it goes. Boom, she slid in. And see, so you can see the little clippy inside there. So that, we'll go with her. Or actually, so this goes up through here, and then the wire clips into that. And then let's make sure it reaches. Oh yeah. She's perfection. Let's see if I can get a little more slack. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, perfect. Now, we'll put the flywheel on there loosely and see if we got some spark. So yeah, let's get this spark plug out. Plug it in here. And then we'll put our flywheel on and I got the cotter key and everything all on there already. Make sure we don't got any crab stuck in there. Okay. And this is a reverse thread nut. So we'll tighten that down real quick. Okay. Cross your fingers. The moment of truth. Can you guys see the spark plug? Okay, let's see what we got. Now let me make sure I'm, yep, I'm spinning it the right way. Okay, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure our switch is on. Okay, let's try it. Uh-oh. No spark. Hmm. And that's how it was when we got it from Andrew, so... Okay, no sparky. Okay. Let me pop that flywheel off. Maybe I'll try... I got a different coil, so maybe we'll try that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I put the whole nother um, breaker ignition unit in there. A whole different unit. So now let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Nice, consistent spark. Switch on. Spark. Now, 
I switch off Steel Spark. Yeah, something's funky with the switch. But that's easy to change. So yeah, all right. We got Spark. We are ready to go. I'll tighten up that spark plug. Yeah, all right, guys. There's our ignition system. So now, next step is we'll get that all back together. Um, and then I can do the final step, which is we'll put on the uh, starter. I got to fix that because it's a Fairbanks Morse type deal. And it's missing one of the dogs. See? It's got one over here. But <laughs> it's gone on this side. So I'll do a video on that too. So yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay, one step closer. One step closer. This is so cool. And so yeah, hopefully we'll... What I'm going to try and do is get this thing ready and have it ready for the weekend. Maybe we can raffle this thing off. That'd be cool. Because yeah, all I got to do is put on the starter. And then just the... Uh, oh, I got this all shined up. See, I got the... Got the uh, cylinder shroud all shined up on it. So that's pretty cool. Where does that go? I don't know. I can't remember. Somewhere like this. Something like this. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, just like that. Oh, look at that. Custom. Okay. Okay, so there's our ignition system, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna try and do a live stream this Saturday. I know it sounds, it's a little scary for me because I don't even know how it works or anything, but I'm thinking 10 o'clock Saturday, we'll do a live stream. Maybe we'll try and be on for an hour or so and see if we can get a bunch of people to donate to John's GoFundMe and we'll get a bunch of names on the list. And then uh, maybe we'll raffle it off, or maybe it'll take us a day or so to figure it all out, and then we'll raffle it off. But anyways, it'll just be sort of a work in progress thing, so bear with me. i never done this before. So anyways, uh, thank you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you later.